We've got a Jaguar 2019 with a TPMS fault and we're going to use the Foxwell T2000 Wi-Fi or WF to try and diagnose this fault and get it fixed. So when we switch the ignition on, on the car, you can see that shortly afterwards the TPMS light starts flashing and we get an error message coming up telling us that the rear left tyre is not monitored. So if we go into the system menu on the car, we can actually have a look to see what tire pressure is showing. And this was also saying that there's no signal from the rear left tire. The next thing we're going to do, if we plug the VCI into the car, We can actually go in and read the fault codes from the TPMS system on the car itself. So using the T2000WF, we need to have the ignition on the second ignition position in the car so that you have all the data lights showing before we diagnose. So if we press the start button, and you can also see all the three lights showing on the VCI on the car interface, which means it's got a connection with the tool. Slightly better view here. And now if we go into the TPS menu on the tool, and go down to Europe, and then into Jaguar. And if we do the uh, smart VIN, it would actually read the VIN from the car itself. And it's picked up the model. And it shows us the sensor types are available on this car. It's the top one we've got here. Now we've got some options. So if we go down to the TPMS diagnose, so we can read the fault codes. Now if we look at read codes, again this is giving us a fault code again for the rear left. Now we'll go and test each of the tyres directly using the tool. So we'll actually read what each sensor is transmitting and just check if all the TPMS sensors are actually sending out signals. So pick Europe and Jaguar. And it's uh, the Jaguar XE model that we've got, and it's the sensor type. Uh, if we go to sensor activate and delete data, now it's showing us which tire it wants us to go to first for the reading. So if we walk around the car. And so if you then hold the tool next to the tire valve and press the sort of activate button, we should get a reading from this tire sensor, provided it's transmitting correctly. And there you go, we've got a reading, so we've got an ID and we've got the uh, pressure and the temperature from the tire as well. And it's telling us the next one to go to. So if you wander around the car for this wheel and do the same, hold the tool near the valve and press the activate button so this one's giving us a reading as well and it's now showing us to go to the next tire and again if we hold the T2000 next to the valve and activate There we go. So we've got IDs, pressures and temperatures for all of the sensors so far. And this is the 
sensor which has been giving the error. So let's see if we can actually read anything from the sensor itself. It's not coming up with the reading straight away. No, so it's given us an error message on this sensor. So it's not actually able to read anything from the sensor. So we can assume this TPMS sensor has failed. We'll use the T2000 now to create a new sensor. So if we go into the TPMS option, and then we'll choose again Europe, Jaguar, manual selection on the XE and this particular sensor and now we've got the sensor program option and we automatically create so we've got our sensor just above the tool as you can see in the picture it's still in the box so it's detected the sensor so yes, we want to go ahead and program it. So it's now converting this blank sensor into the correct spec for the Jaguar XE. So it's changing it to the right frequency and giving it the right ID so the car will recognize it. And that's finished. So what we'll do is we just go and uh, drop out of this menu and go back. We can actually just read the sensor now. So if we go back to sensor activate, uh, we delete the existing data and then if we just trigger this sensor there we go so it's read an ID uh, let's see the pressure is currently 0.1 psi because it's not in a car we've now fitted that sensor and we're going to go in and reset the fault codes from the car and just get this and get the procedure for teaching the car about the new sensor we've fitted. So again, we'll make sure the car's on the second ignition position, so we'll need to press the start button. And then we'll keep an eye on the interface lights there, as soon as they've all, all th uh, three lights are on, we know we're good to go and read from the car. So let's go back in TPMS. Europe, Jaguar, and produce smart bin again. Yeah, it's the correct model and the correct sensor type. So if we go now to the, uh, we've still got the fault light on there on the dash. So we'll go down to TPMS diagnose. and read the codes. Okay, we've got that fault code there still, still to the rear. So let's give that a clear. So if we reset that, and that code clear is done. And there you go, that's put out the TPMS fault lights on the dashboard and cleared those faults. So we can drop back out of here. and then we're going to remove the VCI. There's also on here, there's a procedure. If we go into the software again for the Jaguar, it tells us how 
to actually get the car to accept the new sensor ID uh, because the new sensor we put in because the original was dead we didn't have the ID but if we go into sensor learning and then there's an automatic relearn procedure and actually gives us details on how we get the car to recognize the new sensor in this one it's fairly straightforward it's just driving the car for about 20 minutes and it'll pick it up but some cars you need to actually program an ID number in using the, the VCI but the tool will tell you what you need to do to teach the car about the new sensor you fitted and that's it Thank you for watching and any questions on TPMS or any other products, please contact us at gendan.co.uk.